At EPCC, our role in the project is to make the codes produced by the researchers go as fast as possible. The first step is generally to convert the codes from their original MATLAB form into a language more suited to high performance computing, such as C++. After that, a variety of techniques are applied to get the best performance from the codes. Most of these are forms of parallelism, which means doing multiple calculations at the same time. Modern CPUs contain powerful vector units which can perform the same calculation on multiple data items simultaneously. This has proved very effective for the brass code and also helps the nonlinear plate code. For some of the codes, exploiting multiple CPU cores is more effective. Modern CPUs normally have several cores, each capable of running programs independently from the others. In the guitar code, for example, each guitar string can be assigned to its own CPU core, and they can be updated in parallel. Codes that involve a lot of data but only fairly simple computations tend to perform best on graphics processing units, GPUs. These specialised chips were originally designed for rendering 3D graphics, primarily for games, but in the last few years there has been a lot of interest in using them for general computation, and many of the world's largest supercomputers now contain GPU devices. In NES, our 3D room codes and linear plate codes run on NVIDIA GPUs. The GPUs are massively parallel devices, and can perform numerous calculations simultaneously. For some codes, the GPU version runs hundreds of times faster than the original version. Some codes are more complicated, and a combination of different techniques is required to make them run faster. The Multiplate 3D code is a good example of this. It models several non-linear plates embedded within a box of air. In this case, the air box is accelerated on the GPU, each plate is assigned to a separate core of the CPU, and the code that updates the plates is also accelerated using vectorization. The overall speedup that we were able to achieve depends on the individual code. Some of the 3D room codes have been sped up by a hundred times or more. Although most of the codes are still slower than real time, the brass code can now run faster than real time for some instruments. If you are a composer who would like to experiment with the technologies we've been developing on the project, then please get in touch. Thank you.